Hola, bonjour, guten tag, Rafi, say hello in your language, and today I'm going to be showing you some custom tree designs. Now please note that this will not be a block by block tutorial, but instead I will be showing you some of the ideas that I have when I'm building this and some tips that can help you in your Minecraft world. Now, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so first we're going to start off with the oak type trees. Now, I'd recommend that you basically outline the general shape first before going in and adding leaves or fence posts or anything like that. I recommend that you do use fence posts though to represent the smaller twigs that you find on a large tree and then put leaves only on the fence posts. This helps it feel just a little more organic and it makes more sense because you wouldn't put leaves where there are no branches. And then afterwards, you just kind of want to go through and add a few more leaves around it just to make it a little more bushy and have it more lush. Moving on to the next tree, we have a willow tree. Now you basically want to start off by putting a branch in each one of the quadrants of this tree and then filling in the extra space with some smaller branches. You're going for kind of an oval or a circular shape in order to make it feel less boxy and more organic. Afterwards, you want to add the willow tree leaves, and I would suggest that after you finish going around the perimeter, you want to go in and add just a few more on the inside to make it seem more lifelike. Moving on to this final tree, we kind of have more of a spread out tree and you want to make sure that the canopy of this tree is more flat and generally is just a little bit more even in terms of height and you just want to make sure that you fill out the leaves so that it feels really lush and really green. Moving on to spruce type trees, I decided to basically make a giant pole and then have a few smaller branches sticking off of the sides of it. You want to go diagonal as well as straight back and forth just to make it seem a little more organic and it helps create a lot more detail and less two dimensional. You want to go in and add the leaves on the fence post as I stated before and just make sure that you fill in all the ex- not all a good bit of the extra space in order to make it seem a little bit more lush. But don't go overboard with your leaves. You want there to be some gaps so you can see the tree trunk. Next up, we kind of have a smaller variant of this past tree that you just saw, and I'm basically doing all of the same principles except I am making it a tiny bit smaller and I'm adding a few more lower branches. You want to make it kind of look like a Christmas tree in shape because it is a spruce tree, and this it just fits in well with the wood tone and the leaf type. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the savanna acacia trees. Now, an acacia tree in the wild is a very broad tree and its canopy is very large. Now, I wanted to make this fit well into Minecraft, so I decided to basically have all the branches meet at around the same level and then use the leaves to kind of help with the arch overarching shape. I do recommend that you do look up pictures of the trees that you're trying to build in order to get a more natural reference and a real world kind of reference and it really does help in the long run. So for the jungle trees it's really similar to the acacia trees except that jungle trees do not quite have as wide of a canopy. They do have wide canopies but it's more dense. So I decided to kind of reflect that and do varying heights among my tree branches and tree leaves. And then I decided to go in with vines and string to help make it look like there are vines growing on the tree and make it more jungle-like. 
Moving on to birch type trees, I decided I'm not going to show you how exactly to build this because it's basically the same principles that I talked about in the previous trees. Now I would like to point out that you can use fence posts to make your own little trees. Now keep in mind that you want to be sparing with the leaves on this as it is a smaller tree and therefore it has not had the time to mature and grow new leaves. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave your support. It's greatly appreciated. And if you have any suggestions on future video tutorials or anything that you'd like to see on our channel, be sure to comment below. I will be happy to respond to them, answer questions, anything like that. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!